Golly. You could, you could be in the video. Taking everything off from this motor. Motor sold, Chinese sold. So everything is going out. Gonna already cut the piping off. I already cut it off. The new owner over here playing Forza. <laughs> but going to miss this little thing, man. Hey, what's up, guys? As you can tell, as in the last video, um, you guys see me pulling out the B16 out of the EG. Um, it's finally sold. So now it's time to start with the K-Series. There's no secret, you know, there's, there's nothing to hide from anybody. Um, I will be doing my process on this EG. And so far, I can't do so much right now because I have to save up for a vacation. So, so far, I just redid my K20 head. This is just a PA, not PRB from a Type S. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the valve springs to dual valve springs. I have a set, an OEM set of dual valve springs for this. And I'm gonna have one of my buddy weld me a water neck. I had this for a real long time. So I'm gonna have part of cut right here and just weld this to it, just like that. So yeah, my local machine shop did a pretty awesome job. Probably to try to clean up more on the from the inside from the valves but everything's pretty clean um so far i think i'm gonna go with the one in the middle so backstory on all of these this is what my this was in my brother's r sex but he took it out because he needs to go because he got ref a random ref so he took this out and put a z1 back into the r sex this one belongs into my EK hatch. This one came out of my EK hatch. And this is the one that came out from the RSX that I had. Um, all the motors are great. There's nothing wrong with the motors. These two are USDM um, 06 to 08. This is the 08, this is 07. And this is just a JDM a K24. But I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into the EG. Um, we're going to see how clean it is when I took out the head. We're going to see how clean it is from using E85 because the, the whole year that I was K-swap in my EK, I only went E85. I didn't go on pump gas or anything. Maybe, maybe like the first two weeks I was on pump gas, but for the rest of the two years, um, I was E85 the whole time. The only reason why I'm also going with this one is because I already have a, a baffle pan, uh, the Type S oil pump, and the 50 VTC, and a brand new tensioner. Um, I'm also deciding if I should throw on the, the OEM water cooler. I have an extra set, so I'm not taking none of these off from any of these. So I don't know if I want to run it. Um, I don't kind of don't want to go through the headache. Of taking everything off from that but yeah be taking this off I'm, of course i'm gonna show you guys the process i might be doing it this week so look out for that video and yeah this is it this is time for a new journey for this car the plan is to go supercharge but i can't find a supercharge as of right now I want to go with a, um, a Merc Racing, at least a 1900, but I always hear like that's a two, three year long wait. And honestly, I'm not trying to wait that long. It's not worth my time, to be honest. So I'm looking for a CT race, race, oh, CT supercharger, which should be fine. I don't want to, I mean, three, around the 350 to 400 is perfectly fine like that's that's more than enough for the street and track nothing <clears throat> i think anything more is just crazy um on the street but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and throw in the k24 cams into this and i'm gonna do some experiment 
um, I have my buddy's Type R cam. So I'm going to use the 0608 exhaust cam onto this. And then I'm going to use the K20R intake cam onto this and see if like it makes any difference. Uh, did I lose any power? Did I make any power? Um, did, does VTech V Tech crack harder? Because at the end of the day, you guys already know. A lot of you guys know the the one that's been watching my videos for a real long time. Everybody knows that I made two hundred and forty on that motor. So if I make any more, then it's a plus because I did. Well, at the same time, I tuned it in the summertime when it was like 110 degree weather. So it's kind of hard, but if it's make around the 240 and more, then it's a, it's a difference with the intake cam. But we both know that the TSX intake cam is a lot bigger, but I'm trying to push for that VTEC crossover because the K24, they don't, they don't crack that loud. And it been making me think to go with like a 3.2 cam, but I've been reading it up and if they say you go supercharged with 3.2, it's kind of overkill for the supercharger. A 2.2 cam will be great for a supercharger. The 3.2 cam is great for a turbo. So that's that's the difference. But yeah, guys, um, hopefully we get this rolling and get this started. I want to at least do this before I go out to my vacation pretty soon. I'm going to the Philippines and we'll see what's out there. So thank you guys for watching. I just wanna give you guys a little update and see where I'm at. But yeah, everything is pretty much sold. Um, just waiting for that, the block to go in.